I want to show you a simple example of how to set up and use the EFT functionality for payables within Dynamics GP. It's really a nice little module, it's easy to set up, and allows you to make EFT payments to your vendors right from Dynamics GP. So let's take a look at it. There are three setups that I need to do. The first one is to set up the EFT format for the bank. This is the format that my bank requires me to send that file. So I'm going to go to the financial area page here, and in there I've got the EFT file format. Let's take a look at the one I'm using. This is a standard one. The system comes with several out-of-the-box standard formats, but you can also use this configuration wizard here to create the file format that your bank requires exactly. So this is the one that I'm using right here. You can see I've got some header information, some detail information, and we'll see what that looks like after the process. So I want to set this up first, and then I need to go to my bank, my checkbook, and set that up as well. So let's go to the checkbook here, and I've set up this first checkbook to make EFT payments from. So open up that checkbook, hit the EFT bank, and here's some just basic information that the EFT module needs. There's some payable options here as well. You can see those here. And finally, I need to go to the vendor cards and set up for each vendor their specific EFT information. So let's go over to vendor card here. Let's take a look at one vendor. And the EFT information is in the address ID. So you want to select the remit to address ID, click into that. There's the EFT bank option right there. Here I've got specifics about this vendor's bank account, where it is, what the routing number is, some additional information that allows me to make that EFT payment. So now let's go ahead and put together an EFT batch that will include invoices from payables that will make EFT payments for. We'll also send out the EFT remittance through email. So let's do that right now. Let's set up a check batch. Use this window here. Create a batch. I want to make sure that's an EFT batch. I'm going to select the checkbook that has the EFT information in it. Save that batch. Now let's select some vendor vendors to pay in this batch. Um, let's select the first couple ones here. There we go. Um, we'll select these vendors. You can see I've got a batch total of $13,000. Now let's process the payment. So it's creating the EFT payments, and we send the remittance forms here. Now I've set some up to go email, so let's do that and see how that looks. Then we'll hit process. It's looking for the email addresses in my Outlook, and we'll take a look at the remittance form and the exception report here. Here are my remittance forms printed with a new Word template. You can see that here. So let's X out of that. And then we're ready to go, so I'm going to post these. See the results there. And now let's do the last step, which is to generate the EFT file. So we'll go down here in the purchasing area page, generate EFT file. We we'll look up the batch that we just created. Select that and then generate the EFT file. You'll get this notice that the EFT file was generated. So let's take a look at that. Back to my home page. Let's take a look at that EFT file. This is the file that's created from that process. This is in the format that your bank specified. Now you send that to your bank, whether it's through email or through some application that your bank provides. You would then send this file to the bank. I also specified that the remittances be sent to certain vendors via EFT. So let's take a look at that. I go to my inbox here and I've got three of them. I can pop this open. You can see that it was sent to an email as an attachment. That's the way I specified. And here's a PDF document that was created by Dynamics GP during that EFT process. So you can see that setting up and using EFT for payables with Dynamics GP is relatively simple. There's a little setup at the beginning, but once you get it done, it runs just fine, just in the normal check processing process. So try it out if you haven't. It's pretty easy to do.